Ali Mokdad, and I'm here with Clay, the carpenter Guida, who's set to take on Tatsuya Kawahijiri. And I want to ask you, leading up to this fight, how you're feeling? Oh, I feel fantastic. It's uh, it was a great, it was a short training camp, but I got a lot of groundwork, which I know. We imagine uh, Kawajiri is going to try to take us to the ground because that's one of his strengths. He's definitely no stranger to a stand-up war, you know, and just sit there and sit in the pocket and swing away. But he gets his nickname for a reason, the crusher. You know, he likes to be on top. He likes to try to finish guys uh, from the top position and submit guys. Um, so it's, uh, yeah, just been a great training camp at Jackson Winkle Johns and a great workout, a great wrestling season back in Chicago. So it's awesome to be out here. This place is incredible. Let's talk about this place a little bit. It, it's Some of the fighters are complaining it's a bit hot. Some say it's pretty okay, it's normal for them. How are you feeling, and is that going to affect your uh, performance on Friday night? Oh, I, I think the, uh, the temperature is great. I train in the desert in Albuquerque. It's still the springtime. It's a little chilly back there. I think the hottest it's gotten lately is in the 70s, so I'm used to this. I'm no stranger to heat. We're always outside or, you know, big outdoors in um, <clears throat> I welcome the heat, and uh, we're gonna put Kaw we're gonna put Kawajiri in the pressure cooker, man, and see what he's made of. Talk to me a bit about a little bit about your training. You've been getting a lot of criticism about your training. You're, a lot of people are saying that you're not moving forward like you used to. Dana White has been very critical about it. Do you agree with that? Do you think that that's the right thing? Do you think people are just putting pressure on you? Talk to me about what what your new game plan is, if there is any. I think you're always going to get criticism, you know, from, uh, you know, from your higher ups, from your fans, you know, either when you're winning, when you're losing, it, you know, it comes to the territory. Um, I don't put too much thought into it. I just go out there with a focus and, um, you know, with a game plan and try to implement that. And I'm going out there to have fun and win at all costs. And um, I know this is a this is a great matchup for both of us. Um, this is going to move one of us forward and uh, leave one guy waiting in the wings. And um, I plan on getting closer to my dream and getting back into that title contention featherweight. I spoke to Tatsuya earlier. He said to me he is not going to let you go. He is going to put the pressure on you 100%. I have this as fight of the night, in my opinion. What, do you, what are your thoughts? I hope that he lives up to it, man, because it's going to be hot out there, and I'm looking forward to uh, a heated battle, and uh, fight of the night would be nice. I'm used to those. Uh, let's talk a little bit about your diet. Is it something that you change uh, once you sign the contract, or are you constantly looking at your diet and your training schedule? Um, when I get out to camp is when I start um, is when I start my diet, and um, it's very regimented. It's a uh, George Lockhart Fitness VT diet, and it's uh, I mean it's it's dialed in down to the the, the walnut, down to the, the the piece of fruit, down to the whatever the heck I got to eat, you know, a piece of tilapia. So it's very regimented. It's not what I'm used to being at 155, um, you know, a lightweight for so long, but it's a life changing and, um, you know, it makes you more of a professional. What are you weighing right now? Um, the right around low 50s. You don't, you don't have a, you're not really cutting, are you? I don't cut weight, man. Uh, the, I'm stuck, believe it or not, I'm still undersized for featherweight, so I'm right where I want to be. And for the fans that don't know your style, because, you know, MMA is still a growing sport in Abu Dhabi, tell them a little bit about yourself and what they can expect from you on Friday night. Okay. Um, for all those fans that aren't familiar with me, if you're familiar with the Muppets um, on TV, remember Animal, who plays the drums, the red-haired guy, looks all crazy. Look him up, look up his videos on the drums, and the hair goes wild, the hands start flying, I start doing all sorts of crazy stuff, and sometimes blood comes out, sometimes snot, spit comes out of my mouth, so uh, it's going to be... Uh, chaos in there come Friday night. It's the Carpenter versus the Crusher on Friday night at Du Arena, Yas Island. Don't miss it. He's guaranteeing a fight of the night. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you.